Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Prey Experience. This is vlog number dos. And I'm out here with Tim. He leaves Marine Tim. He leaves in 13 days for the for boot camp. And so right now we're heading to Tim, where are we going? Dick Sporting Goods. We're going to Dick Sporting Goods so I could buy some stuff and then we're heading to Oakdale Rec tomorrow. So what we're gonna be doing is going obviously to Dick Sporting Goods and buying fishing stuff. What kind of fishing stuff? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I want to buy a Spro Rat, so you can definitely count on seeing a Spro Rat. I want the I want the half ounce, and I want that big, uh, the one ounce or the one and a half ounce. I want to say, but uh, we're gonna look forward to looking to find that. Or if they don't have that, then I'll find something else that I find that I want. All right, guys. So we're here at Bass Pro Shops, little brother. <laughs> That's what we call from now on for this truck. So what we're gonna be doing here is obviously getting some fishing stuff. Maybe get a kayak for $549 and some change. We're definitely going to be looking at this shirt. We just came. Let's walk in. That's how we do it. Alright guys. So they don't have... Uh, they don't have it. They have the big one in the black with the red tail. And they have this thing. But they don't have what I want. Big help guys. Thank you. Shout out to uh, Dick Sporting Goods, Bass Pro Shop's little brother. So uh, we're gonna go try somewhere else to see if we can find uh, a spro rat for me. See you soon, guys. All right, guys. They're both the same thing, but one's a matte color. One's a, it just has a nice matte gloss or no gloss to it. So would you throw that one or this one? They're both the same, I believe. Yes, they both have the bill. They both run three to five feet, but one has a gloss color and one's, one does not. Which one would you guys throw? Leave a comment. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. I don't want both of them. So we're gonna go heads. No, we're gonna go odd, even. See, it's odd. I guess we're getting this one. This is the winner. Hundred dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. And I buy the bar a double round of crown and everybody's getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Cause I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. We're almost died. Alright guys, so we're here at little uh, Dick Sporting Goods, or sorry, Big Five. How you doing? So we're actually here at um, Bass Pro Shop's little cousin, Dick Sporting Goods. And we're gonna see if they got the Sprout Rat for me or other stuff. After you, Tim. Let's go. All right, guys, surprise, surprise. Bass Pro Shop's little cousin did not have it, sadly. But I kind of figured, but it'd be nice. So I guess I'm not throwing the Sprout Rat. Sad face. So now I'm gonna take Tim out to lunch. We have a little, little bit of a lunch date. And uh, we're gonna go have a buffet. Fun time, I'm gonna go eat some food. Right next to Trader Joe's, out here by the mall. Shout out to Grand Buffet. I believe that's what it's called, or Jumbo Buffet. Tim, you can't get in? There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go get some food. All right, guys, so we're here at uh, Trader Joe's, gonna have some food. Just kidding, we're here at, uh, let's see what the name is, it's called Hibachi Grill. Oh, hibachi. Oh, okay. Sushi and seafood buffet. I guess they got they got a name change. It's been a year since I've been here. So, it's right next to Trader Joe's. So let's go enjoy some food. It's like good. All right, guys. So this is what I got. I have absolutely no idea what most of this stuff is. I know I got like a hand roll right there, some scallop, stuffed scallops, some fish, some chicken, some other stuff. And then Tim got this stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. And then Pepsi. That's tea. Alright guys, so this place, 
here in uh, my Trader Joe's by the mall, across the street from the mall by Trader Joe's, with the hibachi grill and jumbo affair, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, so good. The butter, the butterfly shrimp, amazing. They have sushi. I would give it a four point three out of five. I'm almost over my first plate. We're gonna go and venture out and try more of the more of the awkward stuff. I would say just to, you know just, just to try it, and then I'll see if my rating changes. Maybe get to a bigger one. So guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Frey Experience. Of course, I'm Tyler Frey, and right here we have the Neutron motor for the Spinu for just about anywhere where I want to go. But since I just came back from Dick's Sporting Goods, lunch, kind of vlogging it and that kind of stuff, let's start off with what I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Starting off with the Gary Yamamoto 3 inch, I think it was 3 inch, yes, a 3 inch Yomoso Cinco or Yamas, oh, Yamas, Yamas Cinco, that makes sense. It's in, I got the wrong color, but this is in Green Pumpkin Magic. Green Pumpkin Magic is basically Green Pumpkin, uh, Black Flake, I believe. Yeah, a little bit of black flake and like some silver, which makes sense. And up next we have, uh, I always want to try uh, Kitek, and I think I finally got the chance to. I know uh, a lot of people throw it already, so there's no real big secret and stuff to it. But this, I got this one because this is really the only color they had that was actually really, honestly, a good color. And it is the 4-inch Swimming Impact Silver Flash Minnow. And it's in a really good color, and of course I'll show you guys the colors up close and personal uh, towards the end of the video. And up next we have uh, a Bait My Life Target. As you guys know, I absolutely love Life Target. Let's get a little bit closer. As you guys know, I obviously uh, love Life Target from their frogs to the crankbaits, jerkbaits, the whole nine yards. Sorry, not jerkbaits. Just, I only, no, they just make crankbaits, uh, frogs, topwater baits, that kind of stuff. Not 100% sure if they make jerk baits. I don't think. Yeah, you know what they do make jerk baits. I feel stupid now. So right here with this one, it's the um, it's three to four foot depth. It's actually a little crappie. It's really cool. I want to try this out. And um, I don't know if this is just a defect, but this one's matte. It has no like gloss, like a foily foily kind of gloss to it. But it's just a matte color, and I like that a little bit better. And um, I took it out of the box to make sure it's all nice and good. It does look pretty good, but on the bill of these. They're really thin, and they're kind of really flexible already, and um, not really liking that. But up next, we have, of course, PowerPro. So you guys hear me in most of my videos just bagging on PowerPro on, oh, but how bad they are because of my uh, experiences on it, having 55 pound or 50 pound test break on me, and then throwing a 65 pound test, and losing six frogs, uh, one mouse, and my favorite titanium buzzbait. That was a turning point for me to uh, stop throwing it. Uh, I switched over to Cast King recently, throw a 65 pound braid, and it's at, I've not lost any baits. I've lost, you know what? No, I haven't. I've actually, I've lost maybe one, but I'm not 100% sure if I can't remember. But I've lost zero, but maybe one. Uh, and I bent the hooks out on my frogs before I lost it. And I was able to bend them back, no problem. So right here we have the, um, I'll just read it, make it easier. It's Power Pro. This is the Super 8 stick, or slick, sorry. It's stronger, thinner, smoother, quieter, and then it comes in two different, three different languages. This is actually 10 pound test, 150 yards, and uh, it's aqua green, which I, it's basically moss green, I want to say. But it's, I'm willing to give them another shot. This is more of a really uh, greeny color, and I'll show you guys uh, towards the end. And uh, what I like about this is, it's uh, it's 10 pound test, but it has two pound diameter, so we have a lot on there. I'll be able to make some longer casts, feel a little bit better, and I will be shock topping it, which if you guys know what that is, it's kind of in the name. Let's get that all out of here. It's not really in the name, but it's just like having a leader. It's just something we like to say here in California. So it just this is what you normally get in all of them, just a little manual and stuff on what it's what's used for, what you could use it for, notes and stuff you want to write down. But that's basically it. Now let's go on to the start of the show. Is the Minn Kota Endora C2. I did not open it, probably my mom did take a look at it. So, this is a uh, 55, 
no, it's fifty. No, yes, fifty-five thrust. It's uh, twenty-five more uh, thrust more than uh, English through the max right there. Uh, it's twenty-five more horse or not horsepower, <laughs> uh, but thrust. So it's fifty-five. My last one was thirty. And what I got about this one is this is a little bit more different. This is a bit, of course, the um, the sh the shaft is a forty-two, and that and my last one was only thirty. So it's gonna be a lot bigger in uh, thrust, length, and overall, not the transducer, but the propeller and the housing to it, it's a lot bigger. And so that's what I want to do with this, is it's coarse and it's more powerful. Uh, it extends more out in the handle where you pull it. it it's actually open now, so it's a lot easier for you guys to understand what I'm saying. Really happy this came in. It was 200 and... Not harm so sure, it's like 230 I want to say, free shipping. Shout out to Amazon for that. Ooh, God, it's a heavy girl. It's heavy. Let's get you out of here. Already can tell it's going to be bigger than what I like. It's going to be bigger than what I'm used to, but I can, well, not necessarily. Let's put it that way. But um, it's definitely larger than my last one, which I do like about that. you got to get that upgrade going. And everything that I'm saying right now does sound really bad now that I think about it. But on the boat, we have a 112, which is amazing. We went from like a, uh, I think an 80 to a 112, and it just absolutely destroys the 80. And uh, we've had that on there for a couple years now, but I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, warning, when tilting troy or motor, keep fingers clear of the hinge and propeller. Pretty self-explanatory. So what we're doing here is, you can tell this definitely is a lot bigger um, than the other one. This is probably twice the size of it, right here. Let's get closer to this. Twice the size of it, and um, it's definitely gonna have a lot more power. Gonna be going up against the current a lot better. And overall, it's gonna be a huge upgrade to where I could go and stuff on the water. So maintaining a trolling motor. It's pretty self-explanatory, you gotta keep it clean. And if you're gonna add a transducer and stuff, you're gonna wanna keep it nice and in between here. I've seen them here, but not really a fan of that. Um, I'm not gonna really put a transducer on it, you know, just so, what is this? Please do not return this product. <laughs> uh, there'll be no returns here. So um, I've read some other stuff uh, by Motor Guide, and there's uh, there was a 65 pound thrust for $169, uh, but it's not made by a known brand, and I read some results on it saying that it's a 50-50. Either you get one that's really good or you get one that's really bad, but there's no parts for it to exchange, like if I wanted to change the blade out, uh, you know, just overall upgrades to it basically. And so you can definitely tell this is gonna be a lot bigger and that kind of stuff. So basically I'll be able to have this thing in the water and have room to spare uh, compared to a 30 because of how much larger it is and overall just, it's a lot better. Not really going into great detail on it, but I do definitely like this so far. But, oh, another thing that's cool is this is a lot larger too, of course. This is a 12 volt and not a 24, which I'm pretty happy. Most of them, I don't think, I don't think they make one this size in a 24, but I could be wrong. Um, I didn't get a foot pedal because the spinner is pretty small, and I do plan on buying a, um, saving up and buying a John boat, hopefully pretty darn soon. I'm not 100% sure on that one, though. So, of course, you have this right here, which, yeah, you can switch this, okay. So, yes, that's reverse. Sorry, this is reverse, and that's forward, but we'll get into better detail on that. Why I got this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I wanted it because I needed more power. I needed uh, need to go faster, basically, to go up against the current fishing and stance loss, and any any reason anywhere else. I wanted to go a little, get a little more speed. Um, basically, it was an upgrade. Let's put it that way. You know, getting out there more going out there more fun fishing uh, with the friends out there and uh, it's definitely this is 25 there's a 55 pound of pure perfection right here uh, I probably could have gotten bigger but I didn't really want to go too too extreme because the fact that if I go too big then I can just turn this thing all the way over to five and flip the spaniel I definitely did not want to do that because on a 30 it, it, it you know it got it you know it gets it pretty darn good but I definitely wanted to upgrade to uh, something a little bit, a little more nicer. So what, what time are we rocking at? Oh, we're rocking at 10 minutes right now. So um, 
excuse me, just had just came back from lunch. So what I'm gonna do here is basically most of the Minn Kotas that are um, hand controlled come with these uh, little nut and a bolt right here. And that's mainly, you just take it out and you switch it around so instead of it being ran in reverse like how it is right here, I could swap it around so I could be in control of the boat from the front so this would be facing this way and the uh, shaft is going the same way but uh, the propeller is pulling or propulsioning me this way. That's a not right, that's not very good English. So guys, this has been another episode of Freight Experience and before I go, I'll show you guys the baits that I got today. So stay tuned guys. I see guys we got it right here it is the matte color it's um, not no gloss to it and uh, like I was saying guys it's pretty thin right here on the um, the bill it does flex quite a bit but uh, making it work hopefully this could be swam at severely low speeds because I want to get that nice wobble to it around docks and trees see if we pull out some of those larger fish to come out and eat a crappie uh, as you see right here you got the 10 pound test um, right here an aqua green not a bad color kind of a lime green uh, 10 pound test, 2 pound diameter, 150 yards, and right here we have the Kitek right here, and the Silver Flash Minnow, with uh, it comes with 8 in here, not a bad price, good color, good scent to them, and right here we have the Gary Yamamoto Yamasinko right here, there's a 3 inch right here in Magic, just wanted to try to give it a shot, uh, what I would do with this, I'd probably wacky rig it, or uh, drop shot it, which wacky rigging, something this small, doesn't really show off any of the... Um, what are the words I'm looking for? Uh, like some of the finessing ability of it. It's definitely not going to shake like a bigger Cinco, but it's a little bit smaller profile bait to pick up on more fish and maybe get some of these bigger fish to come out and need a smaller bait. But like I said, uh, you could probably wacky rig it, uh, flick shake head it, put on a flick shake. Um, uh, the, of course, the Ned rig would be really nice on this. And uh, drop shot it, but nose hook it so you could really make it uh, jump around and stuff. You could probably, th and then right here, switch over to the Kitek. What you can do here is probably throw this weightless, a light, light jig head, or up to a 3 8 maybe a half ounce, but that's just my opinion. I wouldn't go over anything too, too crazy. Uh, six pound test up to 12, probably six pound test up to 12 if you need to. This right here, I'd probably throw around eight to, um, probably eight to 10. Nothing too, too crazy I'd go with this. I would even throw this sometimes up to six if I'm just throwing around some nice, rocky, you know, small rock gravel kind of stuff. But uh, that's just me. That's just who I am. Let's get you a closer look up here, guys, of the trolling motor. Doing it inside because it is 102 degrees outside, so I'm not looking forward to that for tomorrow. This is definitely has a lot more um, areas. Like in the other one, this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the other one had, I think I want to say 5. But this gives me a lot more ability to put that into uh, different angles and stuff. And, of course, you can adjust it here. Uh, let's see, Minn Kota right here tells you all the stuff about it, and then this is where the handle would go on, and the whole nine yards. So guys, it's been an episode of the Freight Experience. Stay tuned.